There. Press two more. No. I think we're good. Yes. Okay. Let's go the other way. Big arm circles. And then let's open up the chest. Keep the belly nice and tight. See how bright it is, Fatima? We've got lights. <laughs> Yay! Nice lights. Lovely. Okay. Go on now to hip circles.
And then now look at all the lovely faces. Okay, next. I had to write things down because my brain is mush. So step your left foot forward, put all the, put the toes in the air, and you're just going to sweep over. Keeping the, the back 
straight my back is. Come down into your heel and stretch. Push through the heels out. Okay? If you don't have very heavy weights and you find you don't feel that, you can put your legs on a box. And we're going to do 12 elevated glute bridges. Okay? Next thing is the alternating pistol squats. Oh, these are going to kill me. Okay, so uh, you go down on the one foot. Whoop, I have no balance. Then you push up. Then you switch legs, okay? If that's too hard, you can do your single leg get ups, sit on the chair, push through the heel to stand up, slowly come down, switch legs, okay? If that is also, if that is too easy, you need something in between, what you can do is come down on both legs, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold on to something, stick the one leg in front, and slowly pull yourself up, okay? Sink down on two legs, hold on to something, pull yourself up. My right leg is much weaker than my left. <laughs> yeah, okay? You can also just do where you go down but not so low, okay? Lots of different alternatives. You're welcome to just play around and see what works for you. You're doing 10 alternating, so five on each side. Then you're doing the hang power cleans, okay? You're going to Take your weight. All that you do with this is you are going to just rock your weights on your shoulders. Keep your belly nice and tight. Rock your weights on your shoulders, okay? If your weights are not heavy enough and you find you're not using your abs very much, you're going to do jump squats, okay? Nine jump squats. Next is the push jerks. You are going to take your weights, wrap them on your shoulders. This is your starting and finishing position. You are then going to push your weights above your head, slowly bring them down, push above, slowly bring them down. If, again, you find that that's too easy, you want a challenge, you can do commandos. Okay? Okay. Five wall walks or inchworms. 12 deadlifts for elevated glute bridges, 10 alternating pistol squats, 9 hang power cleans or jump squats, 6 purse jerks or commandos. You can either use what I gave you on your phone, because I think I sent it out on the phone, what we're doing, or just follow me, or follow Zainab, or Majda, or whoever. Don't stress too much. Just, yeah. Don't worry about counting if you don't want to and you just want to turn off. Just follow whoever. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Um, is there any questions about that? No, everyone just wants to get going. Okay. We're starting with the five wall walks or inchworms. You guys are probably going to get ahead of me if you're not doing the actual wall walks, if you're just going to do the inchworms. What comes next? So you can either do inchworms until I finish the wall walks or you can move on to your deadlifts. So we're going to do five wall walks and then 12 deadlifts. Whew. I feel like I'm really going into this. Okay, we have 15 minutes until low chitting and the AMRAP is 16 minutes. So you might have to finish on your own. Hopefully SCOM is delayed. We are going to get going with our wall walks in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Woo. 
And then we have our pistol squat. Ten alternating. Oh. I need help with these. Then keep it on your shoulders. You're going to go to push jerks. Woo! Six push jerks. Woo! All right. That is one round finish. Good. We are going to go back to our inch one. Or wall walks, five inch runs, five wall walks. Ja, 
belly's tight. Then six push, push jerks, push jerks. Belly tight. And then go to your six of these. And then we want to round number three. 
and then six push jerks. Two minutes left. Low chinning in one minute. around maybe one or two yeah i wouldn't do that one yeah it's not too bad i can maybe like balance the you know the pressure um okay. yeah so i just improvised Thanks. yeah all well, good for you thank you so much but yeah i think it might be sore later so i keep your brace on a little bit extra today because the inchworms is a bit intense for the wrist um you know there was a lot of wrist stuff today i just completely God, I'm sorry. You must remind me, I think. Yes. So guys, when I send the the um or I should just lean back now. When I send it out each day, do take note of what you're doing because I want to do more of these where you go at your own pace as fast as you can and that kind of stuff. So um, just if you want to really challenge yourself, then just write it down what you're gonna do, and if you don't have the equipment. Just let me know so I can uh, make sure I have uh, alternatives for you. Yeah. Because if I have to think on the spot, sometimes I don't think about the best. Yes. So it's just nice to know in advance. You know. Do I still have. Oh, I still have internet. Look at that. Okay, guys. I want you to just lay on your back. You're going to just. Put the knees into the chest and I want you to just really let that back melt into your mat, okay? That's even worse now. There we go. Just let them back in that. Woo, I am sweating. 
fighting though. This wasn't even like heavy cardio. This was more strength. Okay, put your hands up to the side. I want you to just drop your knees to one side as you look to the other side. Push that opposite shoulder into the ground as you just let the, let the knees just woo, melt into the floor. Okay, then come over to the other side. Slowly switching. Reach that hand, drop that shoulder. Okay, then I want you to bring the one leg up, pull it into the chest, flex the foot. Then you're going to push the heel up. Then you're just going to put the foot on top of the thigh and go down to the other side again. Just really reach, get a nice stretch in the back. Okay, then come back to the middle. I want you to bring that lower leg up, pull the knee in towards the chest. Think about that opposite knee going outwards while that ankle comes inwards. Woo. Okay, lower the leg. Now the other leg, point the toe, push up. Yo guys, the sweat is running into my eyes. Oh. Push up with the heel. It's a good quick session. Okay, put the knee on top. Let's just go, or sorry. The foot on top. Let's go to the opposite side. Get a nice twist in the back. Nice and gentle. Don't force anything. Just stretching. We're not trying to, you know, hurt ourselves. Okay, come back to the middle. Bring that opposite leg in. Push the knee away as you pull the ankle towards you. Nice stretch in the hip socket. Okay, let's roll up. And let's just grab our foot. Pull that leg in. Okay, let's pull the other leg in. Alright, reach up and sweep. 